Hi, I'm Matthew Dolan, and we're here at 25 Lusk in San Francisco. The kind of food we serve here is a, a mix of, of French and Italian influences, but it's focused on sustainability. Um, it's an old-fashioned kitchen. We're cooking in the round, and I basically get to put my stamp of approval on each plate. This first area is hot apps, and it's where it's about 130 degrees, and you better run and you better be on time, because if you're late and you slow things down, you change the pace for the rest of the night. All right, here we are at Sauté. It's one of the two main core stations here in the restaurant. It's about 140 degrees back there. And everything is seasoned, everything is tasted, because you are the main event. You're the main act in the show, so you better know how to saute. Here we are in Garde Manger. Um, all the cold starters come from here. This is your first station in the kitchen, but you need to be the fastest. You need to understand seasoning. Your plates need to be beautiful, and it's all cold, so you don't get the luxury of heat to help you. When every station has finished their dishes, they come to me. So how something looks at the end of the day is very important. Uh, diners tend to eat with their eyes. So while the, while the fundamentals of cooking are there, it still needs to look beautiful. Sustainability is a realization that we need to get back to somewhat closer to those original ways, or we're going to burn out our food system. I love beef, but I'm just eating less of it. I'm eating less of it because I know that it takes a 2,000 gallons of water to produce one edible pound of beef. So I'm not saying let's get rid of the cattle industry. I, I want my steaks. I want steaks on my menu. I want to eat a steak on a regular basis, but I just want to eat more fish nowadays. If, if you think about, I think it's a, a sixth of our oxygen on the planet comes from the ocean and one billion people rely upon seafood as their primary source of protein. You're catching things like sea turtles that literally get stuck in these nets and then these nets take a while to unload on these big industrial boats. We're just basically un and unnecessarily killing sea turtles. I'm really happy to know that there's a lot of great fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico now that are skim netting. And then they're like turtle free commitments. If you can get a skim nut caught Gulf front, I think you're doing okay. I like this dish because it, it is exactly that. It's a, it speaks to the pescatarians. I think it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty universally approachable dish, um, and it's fresh. It's healthy. It's full of flavors, from the cucumber to the mango to the cilantro to the mint to the coconut. There's cayenne pepper. There's coriander seed. It's, but it's it's also the the end result is a pretty well uh, and com complex layers of flavors. When making the sauce, we start with the Dijon mustard. And then we take that champagne vinegar and we whisk it in to make this nice smooth beginning. So once we put in the coconut milk, we're going to go in with our cayenne pepper, our ground coriander, and a little bit of salt. And then, but I do, re I do really recommend we, we, we zest that lime zest in there at the very end. Don't let it stick around too long or it can kind of take over. They just behave so well on the grill. They get that little smoke from the grill, that little bit of texture, but I like them around medium rare to medium. And it's just a texture thing and that little touch of smoke and the, the resulting product is just delicious. I like Napa cabbage because it holds up to one of these more assertive vinaigrettes. We tore off some leaves of cilantro, mint, and basil, uh, some uh, English cucumber. We added some organic mango and some great wine pairings that would go with that too, by the way, especially the Spanish whites, but we could get into that another time.